Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. I'm sorry, that was terrible. I'm gonna show you how to use Screencastify and I promise no Tiger King references, but uh, Carol Baskins did it. Hey, so Screencastify, if you guys look up on your screen when you guys open up Google, you are gonna see this icon right here. I'm gonna see if I can, I used to be able to have a little like cursor thing that I can use to show you things, but whatever. This is Screencastify. Now these are the settings here. You can do, uh, I usually use desktop. If you wanna record just yourself, then you can just do a webcam only feature. Um, but I like to use desktop because I'm gonna record my, my, my screen like I'm doing right now, okay? Uh, you wanna have a microphone, it should be on default and you can either embed webcam or not. If you don't wanna record yourself at all, you just wanna record your screen, then make sure that this is sl slide, slid to the left, it's off, okay? Um, so I'm gonna leave that on. I usually like to have myself there in the corner just so kids can see me, so they can still see my angry teacher face when they need to. Um, and then it should be already set to FaceTime Okay, and then you're gonna click record, okay? So what's gonna happen is once you do that, <laughs> there I am twice, how terrible. Um, okay, so then you're gonna, it's gonna show you your entire screen or just the application window. I like to go for the entire screen. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and click share, and now it's gonna record. It's gonna give you like five seconds. I think it's, you can change the settings. It'll give you like the option of three, five and 10, so I just select five. And now uh, I'm being recorded, my screen is being recorded twice for this instructional video. Great. Um, so basically you are recording your screen, whatever you do on your screen, your kids can see. Um, and of course you have yourself there. You can always get rid of yourself if you want. Got rid of myself. Um, and then when it's time to, I'm gonna move down my screen a little bit. All right, there it is. You're gonna see this feature down on the left. Um, these are really cool little things you can uh, click on. This is a highlight if you wanna highlight something and show kids, all right, I want you to click on latest news or whatever. Um, if you want to hide your cursor, okay? Or if you wanna focus your mouse on something, all right? So, all right, kids, I want you to go to ELA, okay? So anyway, there's all these little cool features that you can use. Click back on the cursor. If you wanna remove a feature, just click on it again, I think. Oh, it's always gonna be set to highlight clicks, I think. I don't know. I'm still learning this, by the way, so sorry. Oh, okay, yeah, so unclick it if you don't want that thing to be used. You also have a pen option, so you can write on things, like, oh, how sad Sanders ends his 2020. Okay, uh, you can erase, okay? So there's that. And I don't really use any of those, to be honest. If I need to, I will, but um, I usually don't. And then, go back to your cursor. You can pause your recording and then continue it. Okay, so I'm gonna pause it. Then I, you can continue it. I like to pause and I tell kids like, all right, um, now it's your turn. I want you to do this task or whatever. So pause your screen, pause your, and you know, they either will or they won't, right? I mean, you have no control over that. Then you can continue to record by pressing play. And uh, if you mess up, okay, if you so happen to mess up, um, you can pause the recording and then you can end it and then you can just start over, okay? And actually you can probably just click restart recording, which is right here if you make any mistakes, okay? Um, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, pretend that I'm done recording, okay? So you're, when you're done recording, you click end recording, and then it's gonna show you, uh, it's gonna start playing what you just recorded. Click to unmute. I'm not gonna unmute it right now because then you're gonna hear me twice, which is awful. Um, you can title it at the top, so give it a title. I like to title it day number whatever, okay? Day number 15, and then something, you know, online, instructional video, whatever, give it, give it a unique title. Okay. Um, it's going to, it's going to basically, um, 
save into your Google Drive. Now what I like to do is I like to actually publish it to YouTube, okay? So um, because I like my YouTube channel for kids to refer back to and subscribe if they need to refer back to videos, you can share your video on Classroom. Um, I don't really use the embed code. I don't feel like that's really a necessary thing. And I don't really use any of these other options, but you can. Um, you can also download your video, export it. There's all sorts of options, but I like to do so just keep it simple, okay? So I like to use the uh, published YouTube. And if you do that, you're gonna wanna make it public because you want kids to access it, right? Um, and then you just click upload, okay? And then it uploads to your YouTube channel, which you all have a YouTube channel. If you didn't know that, you, you do. Um, because you have a Google account, Google and YouTube are just, it's, it's all synced. Everyone has a YouTube channel, I think if you just, anyway. Um, that's what I do. You do what you want, but it's just very simple way to use Screencastify to record yourself, to record your screen, or just to record your screen. And the kids can hear you, they can see you, which they should. Um, hopefully I do it every day, maybe for you it's once a week or every couple of days. Um, it looks like based on our schedule now, twice, two to three times a week now. Anyway, I'm gonna cancel this. Don't really wanna upload that. That's pretty much it. You can play with these other options. There's, if you're like, I don't like this video, right? You wanna trash it, like I'm gonna trash this right now. Um, then you just delete it and you start over. These are all my recordings, by the way. And if you go to that same icon, you can go to my recordings and it saves all of your recordings, which gets saved into your Google Drive, okay? Which I believe once you create a, a your first screen Castify video, it creates a folder in your drive um, of Screencastify videos. So let's see if that is accurate. I'm gonna go to my, I'll just open up another window. I have a lot of windows open. I don't know if you can see them. Nope, that's not it, sorry. Okay, so you're gonna go to your drive and there should be a Screencastify folder, I believe, for me anyway, since I've made a bunch see there they are screencastify and here are all my videos okay so they all get saved uh, in your drive you can upload them to YouTube and anyway it's just a really cool feature to try out and uh, you can record your video the day before post it the morning of and you don't have to do any live sessions I don't like live sessions um, I, I just don't feel comfortable doing any Zoom stuff. Screencastify, you control the recordings, you can control, you can restart, redo, whatever, so that you're, you know, giving your kids, you're not wasting their time with, you know, uh, I don't know, you're, you're just keeping it short, simple, to the point, like I am totally not doing right now because we're at eight minutes. I'm gonna end this. Uh, sorry if this was a little fast, but um, you can re-watch this. If you have questions, let me know, and uh, yeah. Good luck.